The pink sauce lady has officially lost her mind. In fact, she's even started chugging her own sauce like there's no tomorrow. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is only the bare minimum of the insanity that we're gonna witness today. So yeah, the pink sauce lady is back, ladies and gentlemen, and she's going around in public forcing people to try her pink sauce. But not just that, she's also come on TikTok again trying to explain her story for the 100th time. Yet she's still going on about how she feel like she didn't defend her story properly. But as I mentioned, she's even drinking her her own sauce now. <laughs> I don't know why, but I guess it's a new marketing strategy that she has. I mean, she's definitely a different beast because our bodies are made up of 60% water. Her body is made up of 60% pink sauce. For all those things, ladies and gentlemen, we are indeed going to discuss in today's video, but if you don't know who Chef P is, aka the pink sauce lady, consider yourself lucky, all right? You didn't have to bear witness this monstrosity being created, okay? I'll give you a little backstory. She basically came out with this hyped sauce that everybody wanted because it was pink. But little did everybody know when they'd actually purchased the pink sauce that it was being shipped across the country in the hottest weather possible and it contained milk and eggs. So you can imagine, it turned up with mold all over it, straight out of Frankenstein's lab. I mean, just look at the mold on it. It looks like asbestos, something they'd find in your grandmother's attic. Oh, it's terrible. And the sauce really didn't live up to the hype, so she had to partner with somebody. So she partnered with a company known as Dave Gourmet, which went completely terribly, by the way. The sauce that she was releasing and she was 100% back and at the time wasn't even pink. It was brown. <laughs> I, I don't know what she was releasing in those, but maybe poo sauce. <laughs> uh, poo sauce. <laughs> Dirty bad man. And she came on TikTok completely slandering Dave's Gourmet, claiming that they hadn't been paying her. And Dave Gourmet responded with receipts, basically proving her completely wrong. And after all this time this was kicking off, she still couldn't keep Dave Gourmet's name out of her mouth. So what did she do, ladies and gentlemen? Well, she created a special pink sauce. She let it fester and age for a year until it built up enough moulds so it grew arms and legs. And then she sent it to Target and destroy Dave Gourmet. No, she didn't do that. <laughs> she didn't do that. Although I wouldn't be surprised if this thing grew arms and legs and started attacking people, to be honest. I mean, there's 1,000% living bacteria in that package. Lovely stuff. Quite appetizing, if you ask me. She basically just didn't give up on the pink sauce. She kept jumping on TikTok, ranting about it 24-7, and that's when she announced the new blue sauce. I don't know where she's going with this, but I'm sure it's only a matter of time before we start seeing these sauces and gender reveal parties. Just a humongous balloon filled with sauce. Chef P on the side with her wings, waiting to catch it mid-air. And then people started to find her sauce in the Dollar Tree store, and it wasn't pink. Again, it was like poo sauce. <laughs> Who's gonna buy poo sauce? I I would, I would never buy poo sauce. But shortly after that is when she released her new sauce, but it wasn't even sauce, it was just powder. So not only am I paying $20 for a powder plus shipping, but I've also got to go to the store and buy more ingredients to add to your powder. No thanks, I'm a lazy c I don't want to do stuff like that, all right? And then she was advertising it, being like, look, guys, with this powder, you can make pink pasta. Do you guys really want this, right? Uh, no, we don't. We don't want it. Why would I want to eat unicorn intestines? But all in all, the conclusion is, ladies and gentlemen, that just because you can change the color of stuff, it doesn't make it taste nicer, okay? I mean, if that were true, I could probably just get a kangaroo's penis and put some pink seasoning on it and make it taste like a candy cane, but I highly doubt that's ever gonna happen. But anyway, enough about all that, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to see all that drama, just go check out my other videos on it. But we're gonna check the TikToks out now, because wow, has she changed a lot? I mean, drinking her own sauce? I mean, that's, that's next level, right? I mean, it has to be. So back to what I was saying. You don't need a lot. So I'm gonna just add a little bit in there. And we're gonna mix it, mix it, mix it. You see how blue it is, huh? I think she thinks it's more impressive than it actually is. Guys, if you can have something that is a sauce, but can also be a drink, that should be some red flags right there. I mean, I probably get psoriasis from drinking that. So this is the new product, the new drop, y'all. So this is the sweet blue. I'm so excited for y'all to receive y'all packages. Whoa, no, this is okay. This is too far now, right? This is slowly becoming a high school science experiment gone wrong. I mean, there's an unspoken rule that I can't just get a glass, put some Heinz ketchup in there, fill it with lemonade, and then drink it on a hot summer's day. And it's like, Avatar's urine in there. What's going on? But at this point, I'm just questioning whether her seasoning is just food coloring. The main ingredients is like sour cream, sweet chili sauce, milk. I mean, fucking milk. <laughs> but it's not as if I'm praying for her downfall. Like, I actually think she could do well, but her marketing strategy is not exactly building a great case for herself. I mean, in this next TikTok, she's singing in the shower, eating a burrito covered in pink sauce, meanwhile singing to a dog's chew toy. I mean, what is going on? 
on. I mean, is that even a burrito? What the fuck is that? It's just a piece of bread. <laughs> it's just a piece of bread. Is that what it is? Huh. Humans are friends, not food. Nor everything tastes good with pink sauce, please. Honestly, ladies and gentlemen, she puts pink sauce with everything, so I wouldn't be surprised if she came on TikTok one day with a human's carcass on her table, covering it with pink sauce and tuning like a wild animal. And her next genius marketing strategy for her pink seasoning is to dress up like King Cooper with Nerf guns. Wow. Yeah, that really makes me want to buy the pink sauce now. Yeah, I'm convinced. She's totally turned me to the dark side. I mean, it's just genius, isn't it? The Nerf guns and King Cooper. I mean, it relates to the pink sauce so much. I mean, it's just, it's just genius. And then she uploads another TikTok trying to promote the pink sauce once again. But it just ended up looking like toilet water. So she, so she adds milk. And after she added milk, she added sweet chili. And then I guess she adds like sour cream or something. And then she adds some hot sauce and then adds her pink seasoning after. I mean, is it even yours at this point? You've mixed so much stuff in there just to add some food color in. And look at the result of this, ready? I mean, look at the difference in the pigmentation. Why is it so watery for? I mean, is someone really gonna look at that and go, mmm, hmm, <laughs> oh, I, I can't wait to just put that on my wings later. I'm, I'm so excited. I'm looking forward to having diarrhea. <laughs> and then her next TikTok is her explaining herself once again. But firstly, before that, I wanna show you her going around in public and literally making people try her sauce. Okay, so it is flavor. So my description of it is sweet, tangy, and a little bit spicy. But I don't say both of them. So I don't say that it's like, it tastes like, like something, but it tastes like pink sauce, it tastes like blue sauce. God, honestly, it's just so awkward already. Like, they're just like, why the f am I even standing here right now? Like, who is this woman and why is she making me try her special sauce? Do it. Do it taste like ranch? No. I don't know what it tastes like. It got its own flavor for real. I mean, it's got its own flavor. <laughs> no, I don't think that's a good thing to be honest. It, it doesn't taste like ranch. I don't know what it tastes like. It just has its own mysterious flavor. <laughs> so do it taste like ranch? <laughs> She's just not enjoying it. I mean, you can just tell by the look on her face. She's like, holy shit. What is this? This tastes like ass. She was even looking at her fingers after. <laughs> she said it's a little better than ranch, y'all. That is the pizza. Why is she talking so close to the mic? Well, guys, if my, the mic is this far away from your face, we can hear you. Right, you haven't got to put the mic inside your mouth and... Oh, that shit good. Like this distance away, we can still hear you. That's good too. Thank you. Oh. But does it taste like any other sauce that you've ever tasted before? Not at all. No. No, it got its own little flair to it. It's good though. I know she's got competition as well. I mean, Heinz has just released their own pink sauce. Apparently, it's to do with the new Barbie movie that's been released. It's mayo barbecue sauce, which, once again, doesn't sound too appetizing. I mean, mayo and barbecue mixed together. Guys, this ain't a science experiment, all right? Like... Just, just f***ing make a sauce that tastes good. And then she made somebody else try her pink sauce. Easy that is. <laughs> I took over a year off and couldn't I mean, this guy just seems way too happy that she's about to consume the pink sauce for the first time. It's like when someone f***s around with your food and everybody else knows, but you don't. Like, that's, that's the face he's given there. Okay, so first question. Do it taste like ranch? Whoa, that was a really long pause there. Do it taste like ranch? No. Look at that face. She's like, what the fuck is this? And that guy's just waiting to come out and say, ha ha, you just ate mold. No. <laughs> Does it taste like any other sauce that you've ever had? No, it do not. <laughs> but is it good? It is really good. Thank you. Okay. She did not seem to like that, did she? 
<laughs> she even wiped her mouth after trying it. Oh, not again. She's even making her try the other sauce. Why is she making her try the other sauce? She clearly didn't like it. Just go home, will you? <laughs> oh, what about this boy? But it's a little different, right? Mmm. Ooh. <laughs> That's good. That's really good. But it's just obvious they don't like it. Like, you can just tell by the look on their faces. They are not into this sauce at all. But as I mentioned, she has jumped on TikTok to explain her side of the story once again. And it's just getting old at this point. Like, you've done this, like, three times already. She's convinced she needs to defend her brand, which I'm not sure why it's done now. This whole drama with your old pink sauce is over. You can literally try and reinvent yourself as best as possible here. And... This ain't the way, unfortunately. I realize I have a really hard time expressing myself. It's been a long time, y'all. Like, since I actually, like, said something. And I don't know. I think I'm, like, gathering a point that, like, I don't really like saying stuff. <laughs> I mean, like, really, through all of this, like, when did I ever really explain myself for real. Sorry, did you just say at what point through all this did you really explain yourself for real? Oh, I don't know, maybe a couple of months ago when you posted that TikTok talking about everything? Or, or the time before that when you were smashing your pink sauce bottles all over the floor? Oh no, no, what about the other time where you came on TikTok and started talking shit? You have explained yourself thoroughly many, many times now. <laughs> you don't need to do it again. You know, I realize, ladies and gentlemen, she is totally lost in the sauce. She doesn't have a clue what's going on. But I will tell you that she doesn't mention Dave's gourmet in this video, but I'm guessing the reason she's doing this is because the last few times where she's come out and given her side of the story, it's always done well and created more attention around her. But I don't think it's going to work this time because I think everybody's getting a bit bored at this point. Mm, sorry. I feel like I didn't defend myself. Like, I didn't defend myself. I didn't say things that needed to be said when they needed to be said. I think I'd prefer less talk and more food colouring because it's been a long time coming now since I've been craving pink mashed potato. <laughs> telling y'all and telling y'all, like, why I created the pink sauce and why I created my invention in educating y'all about food and you know, naturalism and... Naturalism. Invention. That's definitely an invention if I ever saw one, that's for sure. And then the next bits then, she pretty much goes on to say about how she's like, you know, focusing on changing, being a better person. Also that she's taking like private chef like lessons, I guess. Because she's got a passion for food. She's she's a decent chef to be fair. Her food that she actually makes actually looks pretty bang and I'm not going to lie, so I'm not going to slay her there. But it's just the pink sauce. When it comes to the pink sauce, it's just been all over the shop. It's just too much going on, you know. I just feel like so far it's just been throwing shit at a wall and hoping something sticks. Wait a second. Uh, what is this TikTok she posted? Most of you may know me as the chef that tried to poison the world with her pink sauce. Well, well, you said it, not me. You said it. I mean, it depends what you mean by poison. If you mean like, if you mean by consuming toxic mold, then yeah, I suppose you did try to poison the world with your pink sauce. God, after all this time, it's finally coming out. Her master plan was to poison the world. This is the Sith Lord we've been looking for. But in reality, I had just created a new lane in the culinary industry. Fun, naturally colored foods. The world had so many questions, and I didn't know that being a creator that didn't like to explain themselves could cause people to come to their own conclusions. This is actually extremely uncomfortable. Well, what's with the thunder and lightning? <laughs> Why is this so dramatic? I'm Chef P, but you may know me as the person who wiped out half the population with my moldy pink sauce. <laughs> Chef P is the person who had every right to become a villain. I mean, like, what's in it? Aw, but why is it pink? Why does it look like paint? There is no way it can be natural. Yuck! I didn't know how to express to the world what I was thinking or how I managed to create such a mind-blowing invention by just wanting to be me. But then I got to thinking if the world knew how to use the tools that I have been taught over the past two decades. They would understand my approach to culinary innovation. Let's get into some weird 
weird stuff. <laughs> what is going on? What the hell just happened? If only the world knew how to use the tools that I supplied them. <laughs> You're creeping me out. This is supposed to be wholesome pink sauce videos. What happened? Someone said your humor's awesome. Yeah, the video was uh, uh re really funny. Yeah, I was. I found it really humorous. Was this supposed to be funny? <laughs> I don't think so. But I can't wait to see what the pink sauce lady does next, to be honest. Hopefully she brings out a cracking product. If she brings out a product that everybody's buying, I'll buy it as well. I will buy it and try it right here on camera. If this video reaches like, I don't know, like a thousand likes, then maybe I'll buy the pink sauce season and just try it here on camera. That might be my last upload though. I may be deceased after that. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, check out my other videos. I'm sure you'll enjoy them a lot. I think they're pretty funny and you'll have a good chill session with them. Also subscribe to the channel so we can reach 100K. We're 20K off, guys. We can do it.